Just a few more things to collect. Just a few more, and then back to the burrow and a nap before supper. Ooh. That's a nice round pebble. I can use that to add some flavor to the soup this evening. Oh, and what's this? A whole patch of the tiny green mushrooms. Oh, happy day. I haven't found any of these in weeks. Oh, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. How many of them are there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, an even dozen. And two more to add to breakfast tomorrow. There. All snugly tucked away. Time to move on toward... Oh. Well, heck. How long have you been standing there watching me, human? Did I really take that long to pick all the mushrooms? I can't believe I spent so long staring at the ground. And would you mind explaining to me just how you managed to keep out of sight for so long before that? I'm not exactly the sharpest stick in the woods, so to speak. But even the dumbest of wood sprites is usually pretty good about noticing what you humans are about. Well, yeah. You make a lot of noise when you walk. Most of the time, anyway. And you're big and loud and like to wear bright colors most of the time. Not too talkative, are you? First time seeing one of the forest folk, eh? Well, you're seeing one now. Yeah. I don't blame you for looking a little stunned and poorly, then. Most humans don't know about us. The few that do, don't usually make a habit of telling too many people about what they've seen. So, yeah, I'm a wood sprite. Couple of feet tall, really thin, easily mistaken for a dead plant if you're looking at me the right way. Hey, you want to try one of these mushrooms? They're really tasty. You sure? These are some of the really good ones. Not keen on fungus, then. That's too bad. You're missing out. So, uh... What brings you out into the great outdoors? You out here for a walk? Maybe out gathering food like I am? Oh, maybe you're out here watching the birds. Or maybe you're out for the hunt, tracking down one of the mighty beasts of the forest with the hopes of engaging in a desperate one-on-one -on -one struggle to the death for the glory of victory and continued survival. Not out for the hunt, then. You have no sense of adventure. There are two mighty beasts in this forest. Well, there's... Um, there's the, uh... Look, when you're my size, most stuff bigger than a healthy woodchuck looks huge. I don't know what you great lofty humans with your heroically oversized upper arms consider a mighty beast, okay? The local deer might fit the description. I hear stories all the time about deer hitting your human mobile... things. Cars, yeah, that's it. They hit your cars, mess them up really bad. Mighty beasts. So, what are you out here for again? Just hiking through the woods. You're a bit off the beaten track, aren't you? 
Well, you see, this particular patch of forest isn't really on the way to or from any place. And it's pretty far away from any places you humans tend to live. Are you lost, maybe? Are you lost in the woods and too embarrassed to own up to it? Have you been wandering in the forest, alone and bewildered, with no earthly idea where you're blundering about? Miserable days spent wandering with no food, and cold nights spent huddled in a pile of wet leaves while the ravening beasts of the forest howl their rage to the night sky. No? Huh. You look lost. Are you sure you're not lost? Well, that's good, I guess. Terrible thing to be lost in the woods, you know. Dangerous creatures roaming about, foaming at the mouth and ready to rend and tear. Okay, okay. Foxes freak me out, all right. But there's the weather to think about. You could freeze to death in a place like this. Blizzards. Freezing rain. Or just regular rain, but lots of it. Nowhere to hide from it. You get soaked to the bone, and you slowly get colder and colder. And then... Pneumonia. Well, yes, I know it's summer right now. I was talking about the weather as a general thing. And speaking of summer, what about the heat? You could get heat stroke wandering around in all this bright sunlight without a cloud in the sky. The sunlight that shines down from the sun up there on to places that aren't covered over with heavy layers of leaves and tree canopy. You have no imagination whatsoever, human. There are all sorts of interesting ways you could get yourself done in, wandering about in the unpeopled places of the world. Assuming you're being really careless and have really miserable luck. Why? You could get hit on the head by a giant hailstone, or something similarly unlucky. What do you mean the weather's going to be fine? How can you predict the weather? What's an app? Is that something like a divining rod? Oh, jumping fringles! No, you don't! Crazy, you know. Carrying one of those things around at all. I've seen what happens to humans who have one of those... those... phone things. I've seen people walk straight over the edge of a ravine, or right smack into a tree, or trip over something and faceplant right into a thorn bush, all while marching blithely along with one of those demon rocks in their hands. Suit yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. Nothing good is going to come of you carrying that thing around. They're bad luck. Well, I guess you want to get on with your hiking. Any idea where you're going to go from here? No place in particular? Well, if you want to see something really neat, 
probably the best view in this part of the forest. Oh, well, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I can assure you it's worth the walk. Trust me, if you're out here to see nature, this is just the thing for you. How far? Oh, look at the human with the long legs who worries so much about distance. It won't take long to get there, even with my stubby little legs. Come on, you really don't want to miss out on seeing this. Okay, follow me. There's a bit of a trail over this way. We're gonna be on it for a bit, and then cut over to a place where it's a bit muddy. And then we'll follow another trail over the top of that little hill you can see over there. No, no, not that over there. That over there. That hill. Just on the other side of that hill is the neatest thing you're likely to find in this forest. Yeah, just follow me down the trail. Keep an eye out as we go around this turn. There's a patch of poison ivy on the left side. That's the stuff you humans are allergic to, right? This stuff here with the three leaves? Huh. Must be a human thing. I have this stuff growing all over my house, and I've never had a problem with it. Heck, some of the vines have been there so long, they're probably holding that side of the house together, I think. Oh yeah, keep clear of that stuff. Definitely. Oh, and watch out for those tree roots there. Somebody your size would trip on them, certain sure. Me? I just have to climb over them. No hassle. Hey, you're not getting tired, are you? Okay, just checking. I don't know how long you've been walking today, or if maybe you just got tired following me. Oh no, it's, it's not that far to the thing I want to show you. Not far at all. Actually, here's the spot where we have to leave this trail and cut across the muddy, marshy spot. Right through these bushes here, and then through this patch of nettles. Oh, hush. You'll be fine as long as you don't let them touch your skin. Yeah, nettles aren't actually that bad. Did you know you can eat them too? You have to boil them several times to get rid of all the stingy stuff. But they can be eaten. But we don't have time to stop and properly collect them just now. Here's where the mud starts. Just try to stick to the higher spots and jump over the low spots. Try to walk where I walk and you'll be just fine. Once we get past this, there's another trail to go up. What the? Well, well. If it isn't the consequences of being a big, heavy human walking through a marsh. Got yourself a little stuck, huh? Oh yeah. Good and stuck. Knee deep at least. Oh, and you're sinking deeper, too. Who would have thought? You know, I told you something like this was going to happen. This all comes of that demon stone you've got in your pocket. The smartphone. Yeah, that thing. I told you it was bad luck to carry that thing around with you. Yeah. So much bad luck. Look where it's got you now. Knee deep and sinking slowly into a boggy, muddy patch of quicksand. Yes, I'm sure it's quicksand. Just try and walk out of it. Feel how it sort of grabs onto you and sucks you down deeper? That's not just ordinary bog mud. That's quicksand. No, quit trying to fight it. You'll only sink faster. 
Just keep still and don't panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get you out of there. But first you're gonna have to get rid of that bad luck demon stone. The phone thing, yeah. Take it out of your pocket and toss it over that way. I'm telling you that thing's bad luck. Get rid of it. That's right. Now you're rid of that thing, your luck is sure to change. Huh. This thing doesn't look all that scary up close. You get them to open and unlock like this, right? <laughs> Works every time. Oh, quit looking so surprised, human. Most of us fey folk know how these things work. We know about all sorts of things you humans would never even suspect. Yeah, that go here. Send three or four of the troll boys out to the quicksand patch near my place. Tell them to bring some ropes and a good, stout wooden cage. Yep. We got us a live one here.